Good morning, folks. We're seeing another megafilament cresting into view on the northern solar hemisphere. The Earth-facing half of our star was quite calm the last day. The lone eruption occurred just past center disk position on the south. It appears that some umbral magnetic fields twisted and released. This is far too small of an eruption to be any concern, but it sure is pretty. No flashes in 131 angstroms means we didn't have any X-ray solar flares either. That's shown here on the flux from NOAA. We do indeed have some new sunspot groups, however, center and incoming on the north. Leader is a traditional spreading region, beta class, while the northern group has a bit of bipolarity at the back and a delta potential if it grows today like it did overnight. Solar wind density in orange is rising, but that's just ambient stream settling in as the speed in yellow falls away. Very calm solar wind and Earth's magnetic shield is calm as well. The coronal holes entered the Earth-facing fourth of the sun yesterday to start the earthquake watch. It begins building stronger today as they actually face Earth directly. Thus far, we've only seen moderate uptick signals, including a damaging quake in Pakistan, took out some houses and sent people to the hospital. We expect a slow ramp up of this alert as the planets are lining up as well starting today. The next set of alert times will post a deeper look in a day or so. I'll invite everyone to check out the new animations from NASA Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio, including winter storm analysis from some of our most advanced satellites. Learn more about the whole fleet of orbiting satellites too if you like. Or focus in on the first long-term product from the GPM and SNOW missions together. Top recommendation. We also have a polar fields update. The southern field is trekking along nicely, but a drastic backslide of the northern solar fields leaves us waiting to see if indeed the pole flip is done or if it's going to dive right back down. Meanwhile, back at Earth, I wish I could tell you this was in the north, but it's not, and the winter storms are just lining up waiting to get a shot at the states. For North America today, let's put the pressure overlay on to see the low offshore to the east and a high pressure node to the west. Their wind drive reinforces in the center where they meet and that's pulling arctic air down. Please also note that a weak low in the southwest is driving moisture onto land aided by the jet stream above. It has nothing to meet but frigid cold and the ice and snow alerts continue today. The east will get a break due to that high pressure for maybe a day or two. Europe. The convergence and low shifted east pushing yesterday's weather systems along with it powerful convergence here over Germany and France. Tonight's alerts are right along that convergence line with yesterday's snowmaker moving slightly east over to the right of it. Precipitable water overlay on at Australia to show the exact same pattern we've seen. The collision points where air masses converge around the coastline seems to have no plans of breaking soon. Any flood news from those areas would be a worthy weather share for the comments section. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.